Greetings! Today I'm going to show you how to repair an Apple MacBook power supply. The ones with the MagSafe connector. As you can see this one's broken off. If you've got the power supply with the right angled connector like this, you can pretty much forget about trying to fix it. These are almost impossible to get into and you'll trash them when you try. If you've got the one with this style connector, you're in with the chance of being able to repair the connector itself. That's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is change out the entire cable. And that's what I've got this connection for. It's actually an entire lead, which I picked up from eBay for five quid. These are the tools you'll need. A multimeter for testing the cable before you fit it and make sure it works. A pair of long nose pliers for prising the case open. A flat blade screwdriver for peeling open the shielding. Some super glue and preferably the activator as well for gluing the case back together afterwards. A desolder pump, solder and a soldering iron. The cable is simple enough to test. You should find continuity between the white wire and the inner two pins. And between the black wire and the outer two pins. If you don't get continuity on these then your replacement cable is faulty and needs to be sent back. Safety first, make sure it's been unplugged for a little while, give it itself a chance to discharge. Slight overkill this one's been unplugged for a couple of days. But that's because it was broken. Remove your power connection off the end, whether it's the plug or the adapter lead. And flip out these two cable tidies. Now take your flat pair of pliers, put them inside like so, and push them apart to try and prise the case open. Take a little bit of effort, oops. Like that. That's one. Repeat for the other one, should pop apart fairly easily now. If we pop the first two catches, now we're going to try and pop the next ones, like that. And that, so that's those clips gone. There are more clips on this side, obviously we can't get at those to try and prise it apart. But if, because we're nearly there, we should be able to just brute force the case apart. that. As you can see this is still held in quite firmly. We could pop that out or we can just leave it there because we're in far enough now to be able to get at what we need to do. We can leave the case just hinged out and here's the supply. These are the connections we're after. It's this green one here and the black one just behind it. So we're nearly there we'll get this shielding out of the way to make it easier to work on. Fortunately to do that, all we need to do is peel this tape. It's just tucked in on this little flap here. 
which is where this screwdriver comes in to just slide that along that peels open this is glued down so we'll peel back as well And as you saw then, even after a couple of days, there can still be a bit of charge. In this power supply. So be careful. There's one more which could do with being desoldered here. We're not going to bother with that, we'll just bend this, the shielding back as far as we can out of the way so we can get at these solid joints. Got my iron. And we'll go for the green one first, which is the one closest to the capacitors on the side. one out. What you can do now you've got the one wire out is to make damn sure you don't get the cables the wrong way around is we can solder that replacement wire in now. So we then have the two leads connected. So we put that in like that. Let's remelt that solder. that one pop through. I'll tidy that up with a fresh bit of solder just on the top. If you, if you struggle with it, what you can do is you can try, if you wind the length of solder around your finger, because it's sort of a three hands job here, you've got a spare finger and you can try and feed in a little bit of solder to help, to help melt the solder that's already there. Melting the solder is one thing, getting it to actually release is something else. Let's give it a bit of a wiggle. There we go, and it's out. That's the old cable gone. There we go. I should now be able to poke this wire up through that hole. the wire in place ready to solder. And that's it connected.
we can now reverse the disassembly process. This just folds back down. This folds over with its tongue through the gap there. Like that. This tape goes back over. Like that. Bent that accidentally, taking it apart. This will fit through this gap here. It's got these keyways in the corners as well, just make sure that they're lined up. So, the flat edges are sides. That sits like that. <clears throat> this is supposed to fit over there. Obviously, we've broken all this, all the snap tabs out. What we need now is a little bit of super glue. Let's put super glue along the edges here. Shouldn't need too much of it. that. Before we clip this together, we now need to put these pieces in. This catch goes in that way around with the spring just inside. So the spring, the metal spring is closest to the cable. Same for the other one, goes on this side. There's a little recess that it sits into like that. We then of course have these clips which go in like that. And like that. And we should now Missed a bit on the glue. Let's put some glue on the power connection edge as well. You should now must be careful with these clips because they will fall back out. If I hold it that way, hold it with the clips in your fingers just to make sure they don't fall off. Line this up. Like that. With those plastic pieces going on the inside of the clips you just put in. Push it home. Need a little bit of pressure 
on that edge there. Give that a little while to set. And there you have it. One repaired MacBook power supply.